In today's video guys, we are going to be customizing our limited items. I know this might sound a bit random, but yeah, we are really going to be modifying our existing limiteds by adding UGC accessories. There are a few brand new UGC items on the avatar shop right now that fit perfectly with limiteds. They are intentionally designed to fit with them and improve them, so yeah, I thought we could take a look at them in a video. Some of these limiteds are kind of expensive, some of them are kind of cheap. Actually, to be fair, these items do work on a few few non-limiteds as well and yeah I'll get into that in a minute. So the first guy to think of this idea I believe was this guy Blazy or something I don't know if I'm saying that name correctly but yeah it's him. This is from Roblox UGC Moments by the way they said UGC creator Blazy has created two UGC items to change his federation's color. Now if you don't know what the federation is it's a very expensive limited item. I guess this trick would work on all of them but the one he used is the Viscount of the Federation. This one is 350 50,000 Robux. Yeah, I did say it was expensive. Now, unfortunately, guys, I think the custom UGC items he made to fit this actually got banned, and I don't know why. So we can see here, this is his avatar. He's got the Federation hat right here, and we can see he's actually wearing it. So it's literally like on his avatar's head. That's how it works, right? The entire thing was gold, but he wanted to change it into a silver color. So he uploaded two items. One of them here, this one was like the band going around the edge. And then obviously this one right here, this was like the star in the middle. So yeah, yeah, literally two separate items. The first one right here, the silver gem, which was uploaded back in November. So this has been a thing for a few months now. And he also made a snow cat as well. This was like the entire band, which was sort of like going around the Federation hat. But as I was saying, guys, I think Roblox deleted them. So yeah, that's kind of sad. Let me show you where they used to be. I checked out this guy's group because I really wanted to try this inside of a game. I think they were always off sale because like he made them himself or he wasn't really sure if he could sell them. But when I was scrolling down to have a look. All I found was two deleted items from one month ago and I think that's the items he made which match the Federation. I don't know if he requested it to be deleted. I don't know if Roblox deleted them but yeah sad to see them go. Don't worry too much though guys because this guy called Manib has made one for the Valk. Now this one's a bit different. It's also a way of modifying your limiteds but he's added these various sort of like logos and little images to the Valk circles. I think this is really really cool. I do in fact own a Valk on my Sharkbox account, the Valkyrie Helm, for 239,000 Robux. Wow, it's very pricey. I think when I bought this, it was like 100k or something. I definitely didn't spend that amount. I honestly can't remember when I bought this and why I bought it, which is a bit strange. But yeah, I do own one, so we're going to be trying it on this one. And this money guy has made loads of accessories. Look at these, all different things for Valks. There's stars, slightly bigger stars, lightning strikes. Like, this is some really cool stuff. I I think we're gonna try one of each. I've got the blue Valk. So yeah, let's start off with the white stars. Okay, so I'm in an avatar editor game. I've got my Valk selected. Let's open up the catalog. Let me go and paste in the ID and we're gonna try out the basic white stars to start off with. So let's go and try this one on. It's only 50 Robux by the way, pretty cheap, right? So let's have a look. And I really like that. Let's see, does it sit in there flush? Yeah, it does. That's really, really well made. I can see how he made this. He probably had like a Valk mesh inside of Blender and he got it like you know perfectly spot on yeah that's very clever that is actually really cool it really does bring some new life to these old classic limited items obviously if you guys have a different valk maybe you have one which isn't limited as well you can definitely try this if you were wondering what they look like without like a valk selected or something well they kind of just float in the air so i guess you could use them with like various different hairs or something but yeah really they're intended for valks next guys we had something different i think it's stars but it's slightly like changed oh it's got like a little star and then a bigger one surrounding it. Let's go and try this. I might have to remove my avatar's hat. Oh yeah, by the way, if you want the new cursed beanie, I'll link it down below. It's pretty sick. Let's go and take a look at this one. And that is really awesome. Wait, how have they done this? Huh? I'm confused now. I thought it was different compared to the white one. Hang on, <laughs> what? Oh, is it like, why does it look so strange in the thumbnail? Oh, maybe the thumbnail is broken. Wow, I got really confused for a second. Okay, so they're the same, just the thumbnail looked different. Oh wow, I'm actually done. So the white stars and all of these stars, they're the same. It just looks different because the thumbnail is too like zoomed in. Okay, let's try like a lightning bolt or something. I'm actually so stupid. Anyway, let's try the black lightning bolt. We've got loads of them. I guess you can mix and match the colors. Like it doesn't really matter. And there we have it. The lightning. Oh, I do like that one. That really fits in well with my avatar. You know, I think this lightning bolt would work really well with that yellow and black Valkyrie. I can't remember the name of it. But yeah, I think it would fit that one really nice. I think the most popular Valk is probably the violet Valkyrie. 
Valk because this one's on sale for 50,000 Robux. I wouldn't really recommend buying it though. It seems way too overpriced. A lot of people think one day it might go limited. I don't really know, guys. Let's try a weird combination. We're going to add in a green star. Oh god, we've got to take the lightning bolt off. Otherwise, Alex Vic glitched. These colors are not going to work. So yeah, it still doesn't look too bad though. There we have it. If you guys have a Valk, I know most of you guys watching the video probably don't, but that's how you can customize them. So let's move on to another limited. Now, another Roblox limited that you're able to customize are the limited teapots, just like this one, for an example, the golden teapot of Ponage. 41,000 Robux, pretty expensive, but not too overpriced. I guess it is a very rare item. This thing is really old. Also, these tricks, I guess if you have a non-limited teapot, that's also fine. The Utah teapots are all the same, really, aren't they? One of Roblox's stolen items. I got this one for free, the Adorite teapot, back in 2015, maybe a bit earlier. I can't remember. I got it during an event called like the Summer Games or something. I've got one somewhere on my Shark Trick Shots accounts. But yeah, if you have a teapot that you got for free, you can also try this trick. I found this UGC item. It's called Demjot's Eyes for Teapots. And yeah, what this says is like some googly sort of eyes which work with any teapot hat. So if you have one, yeah, you can try this out for 80 Robux. <laughs> okay, this one looks a bit silly. I kind of like it though. It's just a bit weird. Yeah, I guess it does work very well. Do you know, I really wish this teapot went limited because I got this a very long time ago and it was free. I had to play this like summer games thing. That was one of the weirdest Roblox events I've ever played, I think. But yeah, I got this funny looking teapot and it looks even sillier once you add eyes. Kind of looks like this weird rusty elephant thing. I actually found another accessory for teapots. This one is the Yushanka for teapots. Am I saying that right? I normally call these things Russian hats, but yeah, let's try it as well. 50 Robux. I found it. So let's go and wear this item. And yeah, there you go. Oh, wow. That's actually a pretty good combination. If you have a teapot and you didn't really know what to do with it, maybe you thought it was a bit boring, then yeah, you can customize it by adding these very funny looking accessories. There's actually loads of teapots to be fair. You guys don't need like a rare one or a limited one. You can buy them for like 80 Robux now. And yeah, they're all basically the Utah teapots. So they all work. That's kind of funny, actually. You can create some really weird looking avatars. Oh, I forgot about the one times one times one times one teapot. Yeah, this one's free. Most of you guys have this. So if you own it, there you go. You can make a really, really strange teapot avatar. And there we are, guys. I think that's everything. I did have a look to see if I could find any more. But to be honest, there aren't many UGC items which are made for limiteds. But anyway, I'll link everything I used down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.